Hey, gonna kick things off today by uh, talking about the Dell Display Manager option on my new 40 inch 5K by 2K monitor. Let's take a look. Hey crew, thanks for joining me again. One of the things I wanted to share today was the capability of the Dell Display Manager. Before we get going, this video is shot on a ultra wide aspect ratio and that's just because I wanted to show you all the real estate you have. So sorry about the bars here in, in YouTube. I can't, I can't avoid that. This is more informational rather than visual. So um, stick with me, bear with me on that. I'm gonna go ahead and activate this Dell Display Manager function and kind of show you how you can use this. Now, most folks who are in like the software industry or design industry are using more than one monitor. And this is kind of gonna show you how you can take your Dell 40 inch monitor and break it up into um, like these virtualized screens. So when I downloaded Dell Display Manager and I you know attach it to my bar here, you click it and you activate it you're presented with this little menu. And from here, you can select the different styles of virtual screen splitting. There's a whole bunch. Now I haven't found a way to customize these just yet, although I kind of want to. Um, I'll have to figure that out later. But one of the ones I wanted to try was like this guy right here, just to show you how you can organize your screen. So I'm gonna click and activate it. And the yellow kind of shows the different areas of the screen that you've now virtualized and you can start dragging and dropping um, essentially different uh, tabs to each one of these locations and here I have two versions of SolidWorks running I have a version of uh, Composer running we got SolidWorks visualized for rendering and then the last thing here is a uh, the latest version of SolidWorks CAD 2021 and I can very nicely uh, organize my screen into these five different views so I can browse the internet for recent orders or I can you know quickly reference another CAD file or you know, take a feature from one CAD file and control and drag and drop it onto another CAD file to reproduce that feature from one part to another. Here I have SolidWorks Composer, which is a technical writing tool um, open. I don't, I don't really need it open. I was just kind of showing you that, hey, you could put it there if you wanted. Visualize is our rendering tool. Um, yeah, again, have that, have that kind of stuck here on the left-hand screen with a little bit more real estate. Uh, you know, something eye-catching, I suppose, was, was uh, rather nice but the idea here is that you can take your 40 inch monitor and break it up into these um, separate windows that allow you to essentially virtualize one screen into multiple viewports so I know I know this technology isn't new but this is the Dell Display Manager uh, uh, software that's specifically designed to run with certified Dell displays not every Dell monitor is capable of using the Dell Display Manager to my understanding, and occasionally there are some updates needed along the way. But all in all, uh, still getting used to this monitor and gonna try out a different cup, a couple different versions of this to see which one I like the most. Um, I think it'll come in real handy when I'm um, doing my Zoom classes, teaching online, um, or doing some sort of presentation where ultra wide is not the preferred output, right? Because if you do a zoom presentation in ultra wide, it shows up with the bars in the top and bottom. Instead, I think I can just share an application like the SolidWorks application. And this resolution is the 16 by nine aspect ratio on both these left and right side monitors. So if I share these in zoom, the bonus is that the people watching my, my screen share won't get the upper and lower bars. At the same time, I'm not losing any real estate on my monitor or having to change the aspect ratio or the display resolution, you know, every time I fire up Zoom. So I think this is this is gonna be my workaround for that and I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. I'll go ahead and report back in about a month and see exactly which one I like the most and and see, you know, how viable Dell Display Manager is. And I have a good feeling about it now, but you never know. I did notice one hiccup with this, and the only hiccup is that if I go to display settings, I get a flash, right? And each time I click into this display settings, um, the, the, the resolution flashes. So if I go back into display, for whatever reason, Windows wants to flash um, while I have Dell Display Manager open. Um, I'm going to be looking for an update uh, on this in the next coming month, too, to see if maybe there's a firmware or driver update or a Dell Display Manager update that kind of resolves this issue. But as of now, that's the only negative thing I've found so far was this flashing when I'm specifically in Windows display options, right? That's the only time I can get this to happen. So I thought I'd share that with you. 
Hey, this is Adam Hughes. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my content, go ahead and subscribe. And if you watch this video all the way through, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. This is Adam Hughes. Fight on.